Hey guys, William here with those two dads, and um, if you've watched any of my Dragon's World vlogs uh, prior to this, I really appreciate you taking your time to watch them, and uh, thanks thanks for watching them. Um, if you like them, hit that like button and subscribe to our to our channel, those two dads. We really appreciate that. But um, otherwise, this video is just going to be on some uh, breeding 101 basic tips for breeding your dragons. Now, this is probably more so directed towards uh, newer players. Um, but maybe some of your old, old, older players who are higher levels don't know these tips yet. Now this is going to be the really basic stuff. So I'm just going to start out. I'm going to go into the uh, store and just go over the basic dragons. Now obviously to get a lava dragon you need a fire and an earth dragon. Um, but to get like say a triple elemental dragon like a predatory. You could do a lava and a nature dragon. Or you could do a fruit dragon and a fire dragon it really doesn't matter what dragons you breed what matters is that all the elements are there so if you want to get a steam dragon you all breeding a, trying to breed a steam dragon you're also most likely gonna have a shot at breeding a ferocious dragon if you chose a lava dragon like I did because I wanted to go for both of those so I did a water dragon with my lava dragon I ended up getting a steam dragon but you also have a chance at a ferocious dragon. Their breeding times are the same, um, but they uh, are obviously different eggs. <clears throat> now going on to breeding times. Earlier on, when I was a <clears throat> early player, I did all my dragons with like rare dragon percentages, uh, rare breeding percentages. Um, like take this wind dragon that I've had for a while. His rare breeding is 10% uh, rare breeding with a 5% breeding increase. So early on, I always chose rare breeding because I thought that was going to be the better choice. But as I've gone along, I realized, you know what, this is a time game. So time is the most valuable uh, asset. So gems help you speed up time, which help you progress faster through the game, correct? So what you want to start doing, and if you've already gone for rare dragons, believe me, I feel your, I feel your problem because all my dragons have been set for that rare breeding. Um, but I go for the uh, breeding speed. Now take my southern dragon, for instance. He has a, um, let me see. Yeah, 13% uh, breeding speed and a 10% chance of rare dragon. I tried to choose breeding speed as much as I could and I chose breeding speed over chance of a rare dragon. In those instances, I'll always choose breeding speed. Um, especially when you start getting those like 40 hour breeds it just makes it so much nicer to cut that uh, 10 20 25 30 percent speed down and if you've seen my uh, videos you've noticed I've been getting a lot of awesome rare breeds and that's because I've been using this terracotta and this love dragon they have a lot of possibilities for breeding but especially they have a 20 percent chance of increased breeding speed so um, go for the breeding speed and just those quick notes, it doesn't matter what dragons you breed, all the elements need to be there for those dragons. So you can have a lot of interchangeable dragons to go for the dragon that you specifically want. Um, but those are just my basic beginner tips and uh, from some mistakes that I've made in the past with this game. But <clears throat> I hope that uh, they help you out and especially if you're a newer player, um, definitely go for that breeding speed. Um, Alright guys, if you like my videos, hit that button and subscribe to our channel, Those Two Dads. We appreciate it.